Hey everyone, in this video we're going to look at updating or flashing the BIOS. This is going to go fairly quick at first. I'll explain in more detail as we go. Okay, MSI has this M flash that makes it really simple. So what I've done here is I've lo went on a separate computer, downloaded the latest BIOS version, and then or, uh, copied that to a USB flash drive, and then um, just put it into a USB port and the uh, BIOS will, rec will recognize it. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up this video. Um, see this is version V22.3. I believe the updated version was 22.4. And uh, you'll notice that the DRAM frequency is 1866. And in a later video it'll be 1333. I actually did this after I installed the uh, operating system. I recommend doing this before installing anything else, but um, you can do it in, in a different order. You'll notice the CPU temperature is at 27. Um, I think it gets as low as like 19 in the BIOS, but that's a, that's a pretty good temperature for an AMD chip. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up this video and we'll be right back. Okay, so here we've skipped to the end. It's going to automatically restart itself. It doesn't go all the way to 100% for some reason, but um, it's doing its thing. And uh, so when we go back in here, you'll see that it now says version 22.4. And uh, so we've upgraded or updated the BIOS to the latest version. So we know it's going to support, you know, our memory and everything else. Okay, so what you're about to see here is the very first time I turned the system on while hooked to a monitor. Now I decided to tack this segment on to the end of this video just because the video was only two minutes. So um, you'll see that right off the bat it recognizes our CPU, our base clock of 4 gigahertz, but it recognizes our memory at 1333. That's because uh, you have to go in and, and overclock your memory. Now, this is one way of doing it. You can just change your DRAM frequency, or you can go down to, um, which I believe I do in a minute, and change the Intel Extreme Memory Profile, the XMP, to like Profile 1, and it should automatically clock your RAM at the, at the speed that it's supposed to run at. Now I know it says Intel, but it it works, you know, both ways. So Intel or AMD, either one. Um, yeah, I'm getting ready to do that right now. Profile one. So that is how you kind of set up your system. You need to go into the BIOS and you need to check everything and make sure everything's right. Um, I believe our CPU temperature just a second ago was down to like 15. But that's about the only time you'll ever see that. So you'll see that this was actually before I updated the BIOS. We're still at V22.3. And I kind of like to just go in and, and check everything out and make sure everything's running good and then save the profile. Okay, so here I'm going to go into the hardware manager and just make sure everything is running the way it needs to run. And I don't know that I change anything here, but right before I button up the computer for the last time, I do go in and switch it to target temperature like I just did right there. And I dropped it down to 65 degrees Celsius. That way, when the CPU hits 65, the fan is running at full, full blast, at full 100% speed. Now that chip can go, I think, up to 70 or 72 degrees without any thermal throttling or, or you know, any kind of damage or anything. And modern chips um, have built-in, you know, um, fail-safes to where if it gets too hot, it'll just shut the system down to prevent damage. So I'm just kind of checking out my system fans and, you know, my case fans and all that. So now I'm going to go into Board Explorer, and these are my SATA connectors where our, where the hard drives are and if you'll if you'll notice there's only two that that are showing up there should be a third for that hard drive dock that's on the top 
the reason why it's not showing up is because it's like a it's not a hot swap but it uh, it only shows up when there's a drive connected so there I didn't have a drive connected so it didn't show up but it the board explorer will show you everything that's connected anywhere on the board you'll see my GPU is showing up right there in the PCI Express slot um, so that's a good way to kind of check everything over and make sure everything's plugged in right so that'll do it for this video thanks for watching and on the next video we'll be installing Windows 10 Pro